Welcome to our tutorial about importing geometry. Let's begin by saving my solid as an IGS file. From the Save As Type drop down menu in the Save As dialog window, let's scroll to the IGS file type and click Save. Now I'm going to import this geometry. Let's go to Open. From the File Type drop down menu, we're going to look for IGS files. OK, let's click Options. The Try Forming Solid radio button should be selected when possible. This helps you avoid extra steps when you're creating a solid after data import. Underneath is a checkbox for B Rep Mapping. That stands for Boundary Representation. Boundary representation mapping generally should be checked also. This is faster than knitting, especially for complex models. If you don't check this option, SolidWorks is going to attempt to knit the surfaces before creating the solid. There's another option here that should generally be checked also. Perform full entity check and repair errors. This lets SolidWorks automatically repair your geometry when possible. And let's also check Automatically Run Import Diagnostics. And we're ready to click OK. Let's select the file we created, 01.igs, and click Open. SolidWorks asks if we want to run Import Diagnostics on this part. Let's click Yes. And here's our feedback. The message is no faulty faces or gaps remain in the geometry. Let's cancel out of the property manager. Do we want to proceed with feature recognition? Yes, we do. But first, let's click on Options. And here's the Options window that we reviewed in our first lesson on FeatureWorks. Let's cancel out and click Yes to proceed with feature recognition. For this example, I'm going to select Automatic Recognition Mode. Feature Type will be Standard Features. Under Automatic Features, let's check Extrudes, Holes, Fillets and Chamfers. And let's click Next. It's this arrow at the top of the Property Manager. SolidWorks gives us a list of recognized features. If we select this feature here, the corresponding feature becomes selected in the graphic area. Notice that SolidWorks recognized and combined a number of chamfers into chamfer 1. SolidWorks also combined two holes. Let's click OK. And let's take a shaded with edges view. Tile vertically. As you see, here is the original solid, and here is the recognized solid. SolidWorks did create a solid with slightly different features, but it still works. This concludes our tutorial about imported geometry. In our next tutorial, we'll be looking at import diagnostics.